Welcome. Uh, today we're going to be doing rosebud gathering and a little bit of rosebud eating. I'll show you a couple of ways that we, we do it. Uh, right here are the rosebuds. Uh, we just had our, it's close to the end of September and we got some frost in here and that's usually the best time to pick the rosebuds. And rosebuds are awesome for uh, whatever's ailing you. It's a good way of blasting your body full of vitamins and all the nutrients that you need uh, to get you through the winter so you don't get sick. It's also really good for uh, building up your immune system as well. And so what I've learned over time is when I'm gathering them, if I pick the little end off while it's on the tree, it's a lot easier. So, so what I do is I just pick all of them babies off like that. And then from there, I'll grab them, pull them off, and then put them into my, my little box. And I usually use a box because uh, I'll put them underneath and I'll pick them off and just drop them down so they go in there. And so once you do that, you'll get it home and dry them and prepare them. And I'll do another video on that once I get home to do it. And so one of the things that you do is after the frost, a lot of the times they'll look really wilted. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's good stuff. That's half the drying process done for you, where everything's going into the, the skin of the rosebud. Right? And rosebuds, a lot of the times, they'll have little worms in them. So when I'm doing this, a lot of the times, I'm just being really selective, and I'm grabbing the, grabbing the ones that look like they're not bug at or anything else like that. And so there's a couple of philosophies on it on how to do it or and how to eat it and so one of the fancier ways longer ways and I don't really do this much when I'm out hunting and uh, hiking and stuff like that uh, I'll show you the second way but what they do is they'll cut off each end cut down the middle and then they'll open it up like that from there, they'll take out all of these seeds. And the way that it's looking right now, the whole thing comes out. So it's pretty easy. And once you get the seeds out, because the seeds have these little furry things in them that'll get into your throat and uh, really irritate your throat a lot. So once you take all those little seeds out of there, <laughs> it fell, uh, you'll have a chunk that looks like that. And that, you just eat. And it's good. It's nice. A lot of work. I'll show you the way I got taught by my dad. <clears throat> and that's an easy way where you grab the nice big fat buds, the ones that are red, all the way around. They're the best. They're really nice and ripe and plump. And you grab the end like that, throw it aside. Mmm, boy, that's good. And then you just, with your teeth, you just kind of go like this. Just squirrel it away and nibble away at it. And then the, all of that there just goes aside. And who knows, come back next year, might be a rosebud there. Or a rose plant. <laughs> and that's it for today. I'm going to set out another video what Rosebud does. Have a great day. And remember, COVID isn't happening to us. It's happening for us. And laughter is the best medicine. Have a good day.